Hi. Today we're going to be demonstrating the 9000A, the Smart Sign calibration driver from the Moto Shop. We're going to use that to test and validate the proper operation of this type of vibration monitoring devices. These are vibration switches. They are typically a little bit big and heavy to be tested on a traditional portable shaker table. So instead, I'm going to uh, take one of those vibration switches and mount on my shaker. And I'm going to drive the shaker using the 9000A and a power amplifier. I'm going to test the switches at different amplitude levels. So these are velocity switches, so I'm going to test it at different velocity levels. And I'm going to be using a little accelerometer mounted on the shaker table that's going to monitor how much vibration I'm getting out of the table, the 9000A will automatically calculate the velocity associated with that vibration and it's going to help me uh, set up the right amplitude and levels for testing the switch. So uh, this particular switch is normally connected to a PLC or a DCS and I have a current output uh, coming out of it. So I'm I'm monitoring that using this little current meter. I'm reading 4 milliamps right now, which means there's no vibration. This is a 420 milliamp device. So right now there's 4 milliamp, no vibration. And I'm going to turn my shaker table on. So currently everything is running as expected. 3600 RPM and 0.2 inches per second, which is about five millimeters per second peak. So at this point, I can see my vibration switch is outputting a little bit of current. So that's a good indication. I'm sending the signal to, to my PLC and there's no, no tripping, no alarm, no alert. At this point, I'm going to simulate what happens if I increase the vibration of my machine. So I'm going to gradually increase the vibration until it gets to a certain point. And in this particular case, I have this set up for half inch per second or about 12.7 millimeters per second. And I'm gonna go all the way to that level and I can hear this little clicking coming out of my switch, which basically indicates the alert level. And that's a little yellow uh, LED inside the unit and I can also tell by looking at my current levels on the meter. So at this point the vibration is a little bit higher and I'm gonna continue testing until I get to the alarm point. That's the tripping point. That's the point where you typically shut down a machine in order to protect your assets. So we're gonna keep increasing the vibration as we go and the critical vibration level for this particular application is one inch per second or 25 millimeters per second. So let's keep going until I get to one inch per second, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and should be about it. So at this point, I can tell that my switch has stripped by looking at the red LED inside the unit or looking at my meter 15 uh, milliamps, which is about the right value I expect for this vibration. So I can test the vibration switch all the way to full scale. So this particular switch is about 1.5 inches per second. So if I keep, uh, if I dial in 1.5 inches per second on my 9000A, you know, I should get the full scale in this case, you know, the full scale will be indicated by the current. So I, I, I'm about 20 milliamps. So we started at four, indicating no vibration, and 20 indicating full scale of my device. So I was able to verify not only the alert level and alarm levels of my vibration switch, but also the full amplitude scale of my device. So basically today, we conclude this demonstration where we use the 9000A smart sign calibration driver to test a vibration switch using a shaker table. Thank you very much.